Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing my experience with you using the brand new Sonia G Sky Face Set. So if you're interested in seeing my experience and sharing with you how I use these wonderful luxury brushes, then just keep watching. I think I've ever really talked too much about Sonia G brushes on my channel before, but I definitely follow the brand very closely. I haven't taken the plunge and bought a whole set before until today. I have tried the brushes before because my friends have let me try them out and I have purchased like one or two brushes individually, but I've never splurged and bought the whole set. So with this new collection, once it was released, I took the plunge and I splurged a little bit and I treated myself and that is what I feel like makes Sonia G so special is I think it is a really luxurious treat for yourself for you know when you feel like you deserve it so I'm very excited that I got to try these out so I just want to preface this by saying I'm not the most experienced with Sonia G brushes however I'm very familiar with brushes that are made from Japan Wayne Goss, Refer, I love those brushes so much so if you like those two brands obviously Sonia G is on par with them I feel like the difference between Sonia G and like Wayne Goss and refer is I actually find myself using my wing gosh and refer brushes in my makeup kit a lot but the Sonia G something about them just seems more luxurious to me so these are for my face only they have that special factor to them I think holy wise they're definitely on the same level as refer and Wayne Goss but these are my treat to myself so this particular set is $270. That is why I keep saying it's a treat for yourself. It comes with five face brushes and this set says the Sky Face Set by Sonia G will be your most reliable makeup application companion. Crafted with quality and innovation in mind, these Japanese made face brushes feature new shapes for greater comfort, control, and ease for everyone. The Saikoho <laughs> goat hair bristles allow you to effortlessly buff set contour blend and more in the comfort of your home or on the go and the reason why I decided to purchase this set was I just loved the blue handles I thought they were really really pretty and just looking at the shapes of the brushes I felt that the set was super versatile now a skill that I feel like I've really acquired doing freelancing is realizing how versatile you can be with brushes you know it's because you're so cut for time you use brushes in ways that you had never thought of before just to get the job done quicker and you just really realize how versatile a brush can be. I think we're in a very limiting mindset with brushes is that you can only use them what they're marketed for which a lot of times is what brush companies do. That's why they do that so you buy more. So I was just looking at the shape of these brushes and I was like you can use these for so many things and you'll see throughout this video I spit all these ideas of how you can use them. So definitely with literally two brushes you can do a full face of your makeup because they are such great shapes and this is a really good set so these are only available on Beautylish and I believe every time she comes out with a new collection it sells out super fast these brushes are made in Japan they are handcrafted which is why you know it does take some time for the brushes to be restocked so these are for sure made with love these are already sold out however it says returning soon so I would recommend you know you can put your name on an email list I'll put the link down below so you can take a look but this is a really great set I'm happy that this is the first full set that I've purchased because I feel like I had everything I needed with this set I'm not an expert with Sonia G so I do want to recommend you to my friend Tara Lynn here on YouTube she knows so much about the brand and she has a lot of experience with her brushes so I'm gonna refer you to her video because her video is really fantastic this is more so my experience rather than an actual review so I'm just gonna take you into my demo. I'm so excited to play with these new brushes. Oh my goodness. So the first one that I'm going to grab into is the Master Face. Now this one's a very interesting shape. It's kind of like a ball. It's pretty dense and oh my goodness, super duper soft as expected. Like all of these amazing Japanese made brushes. So I can definitely see this as more of a buffing brush for my personal use, especially with blending out things that I feel are too harsh or blending over things or maybe like veiling. So the master face says it will seamlessly buff and blend foundation, blush, or bronzer with this strong yet super soft brush. So yeah, it's dense, but it's still super soft. Uh, you could really put on bronzer, 
color here. Like I said, veiling would be really nice, but I'm very interested in trying this out for foundation. I was like going back and forth with what I wanted to do for today's particular video, but I definitely recommend you check out Tara's video because this is her favorite brush in the whole set and she loved it for powder. So I'm referring you to her and let's see how it applies with foundation. So I'm just gonna use this Benefit Hello Happy foundation because it's kind of the right color. I've been out in the sun because of work, so I'm way darker than I'm used to being. And I mean, I'm not really gonna take too seriously how these brushes are recommended to be used because I use brushes for like whatever I want, you know? Because there is no limitation with brushes. How I usually like to start off applying my foundation is spreading it out with my finger. I just find that's when foundation looks the best. So like that. I'm typically a sponge type of person, so the fact that I'm using a brush for foundation is a big deal for me. This is doing a really nice job. I feel like it's giving me a very natural kind of finish to the skin. We'll try kind of going directly off of my hand, see how that works. So definitely from what I can tell, this is a great way to get a very natural finish to the skin. It's not building up too much coverage, which is not a bad thing. It's almost making my makeup look airbrushed. Oh, I forgot to mention that Sonia G strongly recommends that you wash your brushes before you use them so they can fluff out a little bit and I feel like it grabs product better as well after you wash them. So I've had these for a couple of days. I washed them so I've been impatiently waiting for them to be dry. So so excited to be using them right now. Okay, so I'm not a big brush person when it comes to foundation application, but I do have to say this really did kind of give me a very natural appearance to the skin. There's no streaking. And I mean, I think if you want full, full coverage, this is a little bit too soft for that. But if you want a more natural coverage, this is really, really nice. But I can definitely see with a thicker foundation, this might be a little bit hard because the brush is still super soft. So I think for me personally, I I'm going to try this with powder. I think that's what I'll like this for best, but it does really nicely apply liquid foundation. So that's great that this does have that versatility. I'm gonna spot clean this and see if maybe I can do something with this again, because this brush is really nice and very versatile. Okay. So the next brush that I wanted to use was the Classic Cheek Brush. Now this one says it has a curved ferrule, which right here, this is what the ferrule is, so it's curved. So you can contour or highlight with precision and intensity. So I definitely can see this being very good to get in these crevices or even a blush brush. So this shape itself is very, very versatile. But what screamed to me was setting the under eyes. Uh, I actually have had a few people ask me like, what's a good brush to set with your under eyes? I have a few that I really like, but this for me is the perfect shape for that. So I'm gonna take take out my Too Faced Born This Way powder, and let's see. Just looking at this brush though, very versatile. I think it's even great for cream blush. I can see that working fabulous. So, just fits under the eyes, super soft. I'd be interested to see how this would blend out cream blush, honestly, but as you can see, it's not super round, so one side is thinner than the other, so I'm just thinking that that's why I like it so much for the under eyes and also for contour. Just taking a look at the five, to me, when I see this, I think of this one as the most versatile because this could be used to create almost a whole face, honestly. So I was very interested in this one. I don't have a lot of brushes that are shaped like this. So this is the Worker Fan and it's like a pretty thick. I believe she has a bigger kind of fan brush in her line, but this one she says is a smaller version of Sculpt One, which I guess is that bigger fan one. It can do anything you want it to apply blush, bronzer, or contour with incredible control. For me, I'm going to kind of play with bronzer and contour with this brush. I even thought if you wanted a really diffused highlight, this would be really good. I can see this working great with hourglass powders in particular because you do want that like ambient, very natural, seamless kind of glow. So that's what I foresee. And then I guess blush too, but I wanna play with bronzer and like a contour. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury one. And so, ooh. So I'm noticing no harsh edges. You can kind of apply it like that to the outer part of the face. 
Ooh, I do not have a brush this shape, and I really like this shape. I feel like it allows you to hit many angles of your face that you just can't with like, say, a big fat powder brush. This really hits those angles very well. Wow. I was a little unsure about this, but I like this a lot. And then let's just apply a little bit down at my nose. Ooh, okay, I really like this brush. I don't have a brush like this, so I think that's why I like it so much, but it's really, really nice. I like how you can kind of put a controlled amount of powder on and then also just like flip it and blend it up or down. Wow, okay really cool this is much more versatile than i thought actually let me take some of the born this way powder just put it like on the flat side see if we can use that to kind of clean up down here i applied it too high on the other side ignore that but really neat brush here so the next one that i was going to use is the soft cheek now this one's very interesting it's not super dense it's just longer bristles as well so yeah it's it's really soft like the name is and it says use this fluffy medium density brush for a sheer to medium application of blush bronzer contour highlight setting or finishing so this one's obviously very versatile as well and the fact that it's medium density I think is great for so many people because sometimes people can tend to be a little bit more heavy-handed with makeup when you don't really need to be so this is perfect especially for with those more pigmented products so I'm gonna use this cover FX blush in Mojave mauve because this is very pigmented and I do have to use a light hand and I'm just gonna use this to apply my blush I mean, still, so this blush is freakishly pigmented, but beautiful. It just really diffused on my face. It makes the blush much easier to kind of blend out. This is where the brush that you use really comes into play for blush. I feel like a brush can make or break you as far as blush goes. So this is a really great way to have a little bit more control with those crazier blushes. I'm a really big blush person, so if you think I look like a clown, I'm into it. So this brush, I I think I specifically would use for an all-over shimmer powder or blush like I just did. Maybe a little bit of bronzer if I really want a precise, soft application. Another one that's super good. Okay, cool. <laughs> and the last brush that we have is the Mini Cheek. This is the one I think I was most excited for uh, because as soon as I saw it, I thought, highlight. So this is the Mini Cheek. With a fluffy, airy shape, effortlessly apply blush or bronzer to build up intensity as needed. So I think for me, it's a little bit small. I guess it is really great for that precise blush application. I think for a blush topper, this would be nice to blend into the highlight. But for me, this immediately screamed highlight. So it's a little bit more flat as you can see, which I like. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter. This is a classic favorite of mine. We're just gonna see how... Ooh, okay, yes. So the bristles pick up a lot of powder still. Ooh, love this for highlight. I'm always on the lookout for a good highlight brush. I don't know, for some reason, I just feel like I still haven't found my perfect highlight brush. This is gonna be in my new rotation. Love this for highlight. I'm surprised she didn't mention online about this being for highlight because so pretty, it's so soft, so easy to blend out that powder. And it's like the perfect shape as well. So I'm going to go back into the Master Face Brush now that it's dried from being clean. And I'm going to use this to kind of buff everything together. I mean, everything is already buffed, but I just kind of want to see how this feels. Oh yeah, this is a fantastic buffing brush. I feel like it'd be great to really blend in your bronzer if you overdid it. So I'm going to... Uh, finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, so hopefully you guys found that video helpful. I just wanted to share my experience with these brushes with you guys because I do get a lot of questions about brushes on my channel and this is a set that I'm very excited about and I know a lot of you love luxury brushes. So 10 out of 10 recommend this. If you are interested in this set, I would definitely recommend you be put on Beautylish's emailing list because I think this is a really fantastic starter set and the brushes are beautiful. I love the blue handles, they're so sturdy. I just 10 out of 10. This is a great set. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.